Dude, I'm I'm in shock. We're about to have another kid. Epidurals are just good. You guys are so awesome. I love you guys. <laughs> you did it, Mama. <laughs> Daddy is going to go get us Taco Bell. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I don't care. Hi, I just um, received a call and a voicemail about coming in today at 1. I'm just um, giving her a call back. Okay, and what was your name? Brielle. Yes, you can come in at 1 if that still works for you. Yeah, 1 for induction? Yes. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I'll head over right now. Okay. Bye. Do you want to go have a baby today? What? Do you want to go have a baby today? Yeah. Why? They just called. We can go in right now. Right now? They want us in right now. Let's go. <laughs> I told you it'd work out. <laughs> Did you shave your vagina? Babe! Hello. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brielle. This is my fiance, Taylor. This is our baby that does not have a name, um, but we're going to give birth to it. Right now. You should probably run that back. That was a little hectic. I. This is hectic. What do you mean? True. Roll with it. Not your typical opening to a birth vlog uh, because I'm not having contractions. My water hasn't broken. We didn't have a set induction date. Okay. Well, we did. We did. Let's let's talk. So, <laughs> <laughs> a week ago, Monday the 23rd, we went into the doctor's office and she was like, okay, you're allowed to be induced at 39 weeks, which would be Friday, but I don't have anything available until the next Monday, August 30th, which is today. So I said, let's do it, let's go, I'm, I'm ready. Four days later, I went into the hospital. I was having extreme pain down there, so I went in to be checked, all that jazz. Then some lady comes in and was like, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but we're extremely booked for this weekend and we're gonna have to cancel your induction for Monday. I was heartbroken. I spent this whole weekend resting, but crying and being sad. So anyways, I was just in the bath and I looked down at my phone and it said that I had a missed call and a voicemail. This is the voicemail. Let me just play it for you guys because this is the most nonchalant voicemail I've ever gotten in my entire life. Hi, Brielle. This is Michelle calling from the hospital. Um, we can have you come in at 1 o'clock if you would like to. Um, call me at 7. That was it. Sounds like you're going to get like a tires rotated yeah. in your car. Not have a baby. She doesn't say induction. She doesn't say anything. The only thing that gave me a little bit of an inkling was the fact that she said the hospital's name. We are minutes away from the hospital and we're about to go get induced. And thank God we slept good the last two nights. Shout out to my dad for taking our son for the weekend up to the cabin. We called Grayson to tell him that we were going to go get baby brother out. And he goes, I want to stay at the cabin. <laughs> like, okay, cool. All right. Well, we will check back in once we are admitted. Um, hi, all in one trip? My pants are falling down a little. <laughs> I'm impressed though. That is amazing. I did it. How are you feeling? I'm sleeping. I'm laying in our bed, cuddling my pregnancy pillow, sleeping. This is not happening. Pinch me. That was not hard enough. Sorry, I didn't want to hurt you. I'm not dreaming. What the heck is happening? It is 3.22. It has been two hours since we got here. I am hooked up to Pitocin. I've had a few strong contractions. Nothing like painful. Like We're just chilling. I was able to curl my hair, which I'm happy about because that'll, that'll hold for two days. I was literally in the bathtub when I got the call. At least I'm fresh, you know? I'm like the freshest you could be. Oh, was I supposed to put that back on? That thing is going to go beeping again because I didn't put that back on. The heart blood pressure thing. Dummy. <laughs> it's taking the blood pressure of the bed currently. Bless my doctor, we were able to order food. So we've got food coming. I've got like a chicken Caesar salad. So we get to have some lunch, which is exciting because most of the time once you're in labor, it's like all liquids. But I get a little food because I haven't eaten today. Um, and we're already on that ice chip gang. Gang? Ice chip game.
is that once contractions like really start moving and progressing that they'll stop the Pitocin and let me kind of do it on my own. I'll update you when we have our uh, five course meal delivered. She came in around 4.45 and broke my water. Unlike last time, they had to change the pad three times right when it broke last time. This time, it's just been like a nice consistent little trickle, little trickle, a little flow. Um, I got up to use the restroom and it like gravity was like whew. The contractions are a little more intense, not, not anything crazy. We're just chilling, we don't really have any updates. We've been reading, it's been a very chill labor. Right now I'm reading The Mother-in-Law, it's pretty okay. I know shortly, gonna get real. The next cut's gonna be, oh! Yeah, the next cut is me being like, oh my god. Oh, this one's painful. And there's a liquid dripping in between my legs. I'll be over here. They just switched doctors, and the doctor who will probably be delivering baby boy, baby boy still doesn't have a name, he was the doctor we saw for a majority of the pregnancy with Grayson. So that's so fun. Not much of an update, so. Starting to feel them? Yeah, so around 6.15, they started getting pretty intense and about like, what, two minutes and 30 seconds apart? It's now 6.45, so it's only been a half hour, but we're feeling them. Doing the baby mama TikTok. <laughs> I don't want it super loud because I don't want them hearing. Are you excited to be a big brother? Yeah. Last time, I'm gonna ask you, what should we name baby brother? Poopy. Poopy? Yeah. Really? That's how you think I should name him? Poopy Waldemar? Yeah. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Say, I'm gonna be a big brother. I am a big brother. And what's his name? What should we name him? Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner? Contractions got really strong, really consistent, so they were like, let's try to get you off the Pitocin. I'm off all the monitors, so I'm a free woman, but contractions have completely slowed down, which sucks. So we are on the birthing ball. I'm doing a little bring it around town. Um, if the contractions have stopped like completely, then I have to go back on Pitocin. I am dilated to five, which I really want to labor as long as I can on my own so that labor moves quicker because once you get an epidural it's very common that it slows down. It is almost 9 p.m. now. I'm currently hooked up to a monitor called the Monica. This is what the monitor looks like. It kind of looks like a flower now. So these will monitor contractions and then there's one down here to monitor baby's heartbeat. So this is so that I can like get up around the hospital room without having a ton of cords and monitors. She had to take like this like tape but it was pretty much like sandpaper and she had to sandpaper each spot so that it could like attach to my belly. That was more painful than some contractions. So the sad thing is, is that contractions have completely stopped. My game plan is we're gonna go back on Pitocin and then I'm hoping it starts to speed things up again and they get uncomfortable, then I'll get an epidural and then we'll probably go to bed. It is like 9 p.m. and we're starting to get, starting to get sleepy. So the Pitocin is kicking back in and I feel like I was doing better with the contractions earlier because it slowly got really bad, but now it just went zero to a hundred. Um, they're about, what did you say? Three and a half minutes apart, but they're not yeah. super consistent, but they're extremely painful. So I'm trying to labor through them as much as possible so that I can get them to be consistent and strong, progress labor before I get an epidural. Set my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day
last time I saw you guys, I was like, I'm going to push through. I feel a lot of pain in my butt. I was like... Well, hold on, real quick. Uh, just to put it in perspective, it's 1140, and the doctors aren't sure if she's going to make it to midnight before we have a baby. So, like, in the next 20 minutes, we're probably going to have a baby. Yeah. They were, what, one to two minutes apart? So they were rushing to get me my epidural because I was kind of, I think, at the point where, like, you either get the epidural or you don't because they were that close together. Yeah. When I was getting the epidural, um, my anxiety kicked in, and I started shaking. Adrenaline, too, probably. Yeah. I'm shaking now because of the epidural, but when they put the, it in the first time, there was blood in the catheter, so they had to do it again, oh, which oh, okay. that was like, I started to emotionally lose it a little bit because I was like, okay, I did it, I did it, and but then you did so good. You're so sweet, but they did confirm that I had like insane back labor. That's yeah. not fun. I had that with Grayson too, but I wasn't sure if that's what back labor felt like. Yeah, it got pretty intense. There. Yes, we're excited to meet you, baby boy. You still have no name. Hopefully, when we see you, we have that aha moment. All the nurses were having bets. They're like, "There's no way she's gonna make it to midnight." Because I really want to have baby on 8:31. So we're waiting. I've got five minutes. And she's like, you think you can do it? And I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm holding them in. I'm crossing my legs. I can't cross my legs. They're numb. But They're numb. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember having this insane amount of pressure. The That's epidural great. probably works different every time. Yeah. And I had it for much longer with Grayson. Yeah. I got the epidural. So it probably at like, sunk in a lot longer, too. At like, what, 1 a.m., 3 a.m.? And then I didn't have them until 10. I'm probably at an 8 at this point. 8 or 9 is what I'm guessing because of the amount of pressure. You guys, I'm so shaky, but I'm so excited. <laughs> We're gonna have another baby. I could hold him first. After I did all that work, absolutely not. <laughs> I will hold him second. That will be all right. Dude, I'm I'm in shock. We're about to have another kid. I'm gonna cry. We'll see you soon. Boop it. Boop. Michael, what's your baby's name? Brent? No. No. Uh, Dr. 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 Oh, I'm like, what? what? He doesn't have a name yet. Don't try this at all. I mean, you could, but. Some people some, do. Yeah, some people do. I would never. Like, epidurals are just good. Say, they don't give you epidurals at home. Yeah. Awesome. Wow, 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 wow. You can do it. Wow. Wow. There. What? What? I don't remember feeling anything last time. It's like so okay, bad right now. Okay, let's check again. Let's wait till this contraction's over. I, some sort of liquid just came up. That's okay. Baby getting into position. I'm ready? Yep. Ready. So I'm at a 10. Get the doctor. Ready? Yes, please. All right. Ready? I'm gonna push him out right now. You're coming. Don't do it. We are ready. We're gonna have a baby. And he has a little bit of hair. He does have hair. We're excited. Hair. Hair. Okay. Well, good news is everyone's here, so that means you can officially you push. You're here. I, I, yeah. I'm so excited. Wait. Let's go back. <laughs> if his name can be Brent, <laughs> then I don't care. <laughs> um. What's your middle name? Um, okay. Is that better? Uh, no. Two, three, four, five, nice six. Hold it, hold it, don't put all your hair out yet. Two, three, four, wow, nice. five, six. You guys are so encouraging. <laughs> Good job. You guys are so awesome. I love you guys. This is great. Sorry. I'm just so excited. Yay. You can make it our day. And epidurals are... Amazing. Amazing. Do you want to feel him? Really? Yeah, can I feel him? Yeah. You're pushing him. Right there. Right? That's him. Yep, that's him. Do you look or you don't want to look? I kind of peeked. Are you good? Are you getting emotional? Yeah. Are you okay? No, I'm okay. He's getting emotional. It just it, it hasn't felt real this entire time. I knew Aww. the second it this started it was. We're having a baby. You saw his head. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just so this. excited. A couple this. of pushes and you'll get this, okay? Okay. Yeah, you think less than 10 this time? 10 minutes? Yeah. You got this. Go, Mama. Go, go, go. There you go. Push, push, push. You're going to have lots of pressure. Push through it. That's it, Mama. Perfect job right there. Seven, eight, 
nine. Okay, let it out and do one more. Have all your arrows. Go again. Come on, Mama. He's right there. Three, four, hold it. Five, six. There you go. That's it. That's it. You're going to have wow, lots the of pressure. Wow, the pressure is yep. insane. Because his head's half out. Oh, my gosh. Can confirm. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> I just feel like I need to push more because there's so much pressure. Is that not normal? Yeah, Can I push? Sure, if you want to. Am I going to rip? I don't want to rip. I don't think so. Go, go, go. Let's have him. More and more and more. You're doing so good. Good job, baby. Yep. Through that pressure. Yeah. Go for it. He's coming. You're almost there. Yeah, Way less right. than 10 minutes. All right, big push again. Thanks, Pam. Push, push, push. Let's go. Push, baby. Good job. There. Is he out? He's Not almost quite. out. <gasps> oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Push him out. Get him out. Push. Come on, Mama. Look down. Look down. Look down. Ready? Say one, two, three. You're gonna be a big brother. What? I think it this morning. Babe. It's cause I'm pregnant. Yeah. Jay, Jay, I did want to tell you. No way! <laughs> With that being said, I think I should just finally just come out and say it and tell you guys that I am, in fact, pregnant. And like your baby is inside of you and it's like you can't check up on them like you can with your two-year-old. I'm smiling, but you can't tell. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crack this one on my head. Really? Yeah. What, do you just have a feeling? No. Hey. We have three left after this. Okay, go ahead. Ways. Don't take them, but we'll find <laughs> out in a minute. I just want all the cuddles. Your brother does not like to cuddle at all. And no tears. I cannot even tell you how ecstatic I am about that. Yeah, everything's stretched really far, so there's a couple areas that kind of almost like you scratched your knee, you know, like a little scratch. But I love that. You are a squishy yeah. little guy. Oh, oh he is so squishy. He looks like a what? A garden gnome. <laughs> I'm gonna go seven three. Dad, are you yeah. ready? Here we go. What it's gonna balance. Today? Seven two. I said six fourteen. Okay, <laughs> little man. Seven thirteen. <laughs> Whoa. Seven thirteen. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wait. Here's a big one. Grayson was seven eleven and he was five days late. That's so crazy. Oh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, Dad. Is he looking at you? Yeah. I felt a little rumble. What you got? Already? First change of the first diaper. That's you, honey. Hi, buddy. I'm like oh, finding yes. his tongue. Hi, mister. Welcome to the world. Guess what? Daddy is going to go get us Taco Bell. What? <gasps> he is. 
What time it's, is it? It's almost one o'clock in the morning. I don't care. Daddy's gonna go get his Taco Bell. All right, so I guess yummy. I'm going to get Taco Bell. It is now the next day, technically. He was born at 12.16 a.m. on August 31st, 2021, which I really wanted an August baby. He was born seven pounds, 13 ounces, which is crazy because his older brother, Grayson, was born five days late, so he was born eight days earlier, and <laughs> Grayson weighed 7'11", and he was late. So this boy, if you would have been late, you would have been a big boy. I will do a whole birth story and go into the details of everything. Uh, I'll do a postpartum video, all that jazz, so stay tuned for future videos on my channel. But we are about to leave and go home, which is so surreal and so crazy. And he does have a name, so we will share that with you in next week's video. It took a while, but we finally settled on one. I think it is perfect and unique. Thank you guys so much for watching our birth vlog. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Saturday. Can you say bye-bye? Bye, guys.